Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we will see this sum, how to draw auxiliary top view. Now we have front view top view. Now we need to draw auxiliary top view. So what we will do? First, it will be here, right? So first we will draw the given question. And always remember, auxiliary means extra. So we need to draw extra top view, which will come next to top view. Right? So you draw front view top view as it is. So such kind of sums are there in engineering drawing and uh, technical drawing, ICSC. So see this, this is 60 degree and this projection I will draw at 30 degree. It should be always 90 degree. So it is given 60, so we will take 30. If it is 45, then we will take 45. See this way. So now for auxiliary top view, what I need to do? I need to project from front view. First, I will name this object ABC triangular prism A dash, C dash, and B dash. This is O dash, M dash. This is axis. Now, what I will do? I will project from front view. Now, always remember whenever you are drawing auxiliary top view, you project from front view. So you'll draw 30 degree line from A dash, C dash and B dash. Now what I will do, I will transfer width. See this, first I am writing A, B and C on that X1, Y1. Now I need to transfer this width. What I'll do, I'll take X, Y to A. Whatever distance it is, I will take that distance. See this, X, Y to A and I'll cut from A. So what I'm transferring, I'm transferring width. Got it? Same way I will do. This is important. Whenever you're doing auxiliary top view, you're transferring width. Then you take X, Y to C. And from here you cut it on this side. You'll get C. Then you take x, y to b, vertical distance, that is width, and you cut from b. So we got a, b, c, top portion. Now ignore that y because I have done it with pen, so it will be, I can't erase that. Now see what I'm doing. I'm using one shortcut method where I'm taking 60 degree line and I'm projecting point A, B and C downward. Now what I will do, now again I'll take from front view. Now I've taken only one point, B. And from here B. So I'll get point B over here. Same way I will take point A and C. So I'll get A and C. After that, when you see from here, this side, first I will draw extreme boundary will be dark, all boundary will be dark. Then, when I see from here, A and C is nearer to me, right? So A and C will be dark. Always remember, observer is very important. So in this case, A and C is nearer to the observer and this point B is away from observer. So whatever is passing through point B is dotted, see. So B to C and A to B will be dotted and B to B will be also dotted. Ignore that. Why? In that line. Now we have axis also. Now I generally don't advise to draw axis, but if you want to draw, you can draw. I'm using a red pen, so you'll know the difference. So you project O and M on that center line, so you'll get axis. But now I'll give preference to 
dotted line so i can't draw axis over there my axis will be only this much so at times it can be confusing so that's why i will just write om but dotted is from b to b so what we have done we have done auxiliary top view i hope you people have understood this this is very useful for engineering drawing student as well as diploma and icse student those who are doing technical drawing applications so this is auxiliary top view so front view top view and auxiliary top view which is next to top view thank you